Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to create a chart template on Optimus Flow. Now, before I do dive into the video, I would like to mention that if you are interested in trying out the platform or trying out a demo along with a free 14 day rhythmic trial, you're more than welcome to head down into the description below and use our sign up page there to sign up for a free demo. Now to get into the meat of this video again, let's go ahead and explain what a chart template is first. Now a chart template will essentially almost copy and paste everything that's created on the original chart. It was originally created off of and apply it to a new chart. So it pretty much creates ease of access and efficiency for our users. Now this works with indicators that are applied to charts, drawing tools, Fibonacci, whatever you apply to a chart. And even the time frame and the type of chart you use is essentially going to be copied and carried over to a new chart every time you open up the template. So first, before I do create the template, let's add a couple indicators to our charts. Let's add something, something simple here. And again, there's not going to be any real rhyme or reason why I'm choosing these indicators. Just want to show you that if we add something to the chart, it's going to get carried over. So let's go ahead and add Bollinger Bands. And maybe let's add something else here. Maybe exponential moving average. Okay, so we have both our indicators applied to our chart. You can see that represented here in the object manager. Both indicators are applied. And maybe let's add something here. Uh, let's add a different drawing tool to spice things up. Let's add a big triangle in the center of our screen for no reason other than to display that this is going to be carried over. So now we have our Bollinger Band, our um, exponential moving average and our triangle. Now to create a template, I'm going to head to the top left hand corner of the chart window, click on the hamburger button, which is the menu icon here, and go down to save as template. Now before I do this, I would like to mention the set as default option. This is good for users that do use the same exact indicators every time they trade. Anytime you open up a new window or a new chart, excuse me, and you save your current chart as a default, whatever applied is applied to this default is going to be applied to the new chart you open. So rather than specifically opening up a template and using what you've created before, this is just going to apply to everything. This isn't necessarily bad, but if you do use multiple indicators on different instruments or different time frames and things like that, you might just want to stick with the template as having to remove indicators and change up time frames and things like that every time might get a bit annoying. So we'll go ahead, click on save as template, and then we're going to need to create a name. Now by default, um, there shouldn't be any templates here. As you can see, I've done this before and it did create uh, an existing template for me. If you have an existing template and you want to replace it, you can use the replace existing option. Just go ahead and change the one you've already created. If this is your first time or you just want to create a brand new one, first we'll need to change the name if you want to change the name. So we can name this BB Bands maybe plus EMA for exponential moving average plus triangle. Again, you can name this whatever you like. Now the short is essentially good what that icon is going to be represented. Now before we get into it, I just want to show you, as you can see in the top left hand corner, I'm hovering over the symbol icon. That is what the short represent. It's just a small um, up to three letters, I think. Um, just pretty much shortcut that you can see what the template was. So maybe I want to name it B E T, for example, I go ahead and save it. Now I can go up to my Optimus Flow icon, the main menu here. Now I can see I have my B E T, which is the Bollinger Bands, EMA, and my triangle. I go ahead, click on it, and as you can see, I just opened up a brand new chart with all the indicators and my drawing tools that were already applied to it. Let me scrunch this down, and you can see it's the same exact chart. Same exact time frame, same exact um, candle type. So again, all you need to do, come up to the top left once the template's created, find your template that you created, open it up, and everything is applied. So the default or the template that you create is essentially going to act as a default for every time you open this up going forward. Now, as with all the icons on Optimus Flow and all the windows, 
you'll notice up in the top right hand corner here of my template icon there is a star this star will essentially favorite this icon and put it up at the top toolbar here again this works with everything on the main menu of optimus flow so now i can see my template is up here and if i use this template often it's probably a good idea to save it up here i just left click it and my charts open if you don't like a template you can go ahead right click it here remove it you can unpin it from the toolbar as well using this and you can even rename it if you want Again, when you do save a template, you also have the option of replace an existing one. So you can go ahead and replace an existing one that you've created before. You can, if you want, maybe remove the triangle here. Just going to double left click it, delete it from my chart just to show you how to replace it. I'm going to replace this existing, save it. And then when I go ahead, open up my BET again. We could actually minus the T now since it's only BE, but as you can see, now it's carried over those indicators from my previous chart. There's a lot of different combinations you can use with this. You can keep it simple. You can go crazy using a bunch of different indicators, whatever you like. Pretty much just an ease of access tool and pretty much creates efficiency if you're using the same indicators across multiple charts. Again, and as always, we appreciate you watching this video. If you have any questions, post them down in the comment section below. Again, if you want to sign up for a demo, you're more than welcome to use that link down there to sign up. Again, thanks for watching, and we appreciate your view.